Did you know that the story of the Bible can be told through trees? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. You can get a really good summary of the entire scriptures by looking at three trees, one in the beginning, one in the middle of the Bible, and one at the end. You probably know the story of the first one. So, the beginning of the Bible, Adam and Eve, they are told that they are allowed to eat of every tree in the Garden of Eden except one. And that's God's only rule. And what do they do? Well, you probably remember, they eat from the one tree that they're not supposed to. They take the fruit. They were tricked and they were deceived because the devil came to them and he told them, he gave them a bunch of promises about what would happen to them if they took this route. And they ended up taking that route and they found out that the things that were promised aren't actually what they got. They thought to themselves, well, perhaps God's holding back on us and maybe, maybe being obedient to God isn't the way that we really can find satisfaction. Maybe this fruit will give us autonomy from him and that's really the way that we want to live. And yes, we know what happened because of that. Sin separates people from God and that brought a lot of suffering into the world. And it turns out that the devil's promise was really just a lie. Now, as we think to the very end of the Bible, we have that third tree. And the third tree is the tree of life. The tree of life is in the presence of God, and it's said that whoever is faithful will be able to partake or eat of that, the fruit of that tree, and they will live forever in the presence of God. But that's kind of a problem because sin separates us from God. So this is where the second tree in the very middle of the Bible comes in. And this is not a tree that's growing in the ground and still planted, but it's a tree that's been cut down and it's been shaped into the shape of a cross. Adam and Eve found out really fast that eating of that fruit at the beginning of the Bible was not the way that they should have gone. And they probably would have done anything, paid any price to get back into the presence of God so they could live that good life again. The problem was uh, they didn't have a way to do that. Sin comes at a very high price. And so what people, all people, needed was uh, someone who could reconcile that broken situation. And that happened on the second tree on the cross when Jesus died for the sins of the world. That allows us to be forgiven and be able to come into the presence of God again and gives us hope of eternal life. Now I imagine that at some point in your life you have probably been duped by the fruit. And you say, well, what do you mean? And what I mean is that Adam and Eve really represent all of us in the fact that all of us have walked away from God, we've been attracted by something, seen something that we thought in our minds, ooh, you know, that, that could really bring me a lot of satisfaction. That could give me a meaningful life. That could take me in the direction that I want to go. And so we walk away from what God wants us to do and we go pursue that thing. For many, many, many people, they've pursued those things or that thing that they thought would bring them satisfaction. And it's been much like the tree and much like the lies that uh, were told to Adam and Eve. The promises that were made up in the beginning and, and what looked so good in the beginning never really brought the satisfaction that the person was looking for. You may be in that situation. You've tried all these things and nothing has brought you to the life that you really want. Nothing brings that inner peace, inner joy, inner satisfaction. Where is it that you can find what you're looking for? Well, it's the same place that Adam and Eve had to look, to that second tree. It's a satisfaction that only God, only Christ and the Spirit can bring. And it's through the cross that we then have hope to get to the third tree and be with God in eternity in heaven forever. Maybe you're a person who's tried everything the world has to offer and you are ready to try something new. The cross is where you need to look next. Maybe you're a person who's still out here pursuing the fruit. Just remember that when this doesn't bring you what you're looking for, Jesus will. Hey everybody and thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, do it. And if you have any friends who need to see this, share it with them. Like the video, comment down below. If you have any comments or questions, I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.